Hello everyone, now let us discuss about the capsule size that is intended for the human consumption. Now coming to the size of capsule that is specifically employed for human consumption in the pharmaceutical industry, they are given through numerical numbers, 5 being the smallest and 000 being the largest. If any capsule has number 5 on it, it is considered as the smallest capsule and the volume of medicament that can be filled in it is 0.15 ml and the size of that particular capsule in mm is 11.9 mm and the next is 4. Phi is the smallest. Next is size 4. The amount of ml that can be filled in it is 0.21 and the size is 14.7. The next size is 3. Volume in ml is 0.30 and the size in mm is 15.3 mm. 15 mm. The next size is size 2. It can fill up to 0.37 ml of medicament and the size of that average size of the capsule is 18.3 ml. The next size is size 1. The volume of medicament that can be filled is 0.50 and the size is 19.2 ml. Next is size 0. The volume of medicament that can be filled in size 0 is 0.68 and the size of that particular capsule is 21.8. The next is double zero. Volume of medicament that can be filled is 0.95 ml and the size is 23.7. And finally, triple zero, it is the largest size for the human consumption. So it can contain up to 1.37 ml and the size of that particular capsule in mm is 26.3 mm. That is 2.63 centimeters. The largest capsule size for human consumption is 2.63 centimeters or 26.3 mm. Now here you can see the tabular column, the tabular list of various parameters that must be considered before selecting a capsule size. The first column indicates representative. Here they will visually represent the size of the capsule. Here you can see triple zero is the largest size and five being the smallest size. The next column indicates the size triple zero to five. The next column indicates the typical fill weights which are based upon the powder density of the medicament or the final mixture. Actual fill weight may vary and depend upon the powder characteristics. So for light powders with light density, these are the typical fill weights for the respective capsule size. And for powder density, the mixture which has a powder density of 0 0.70, this is the typical fill weights. And for heavy powders, heavy mixtures whose powder density is 1.00, these are the respective fill weights. The next is volume. If the medicament is a liquid, the amount of ml that is filled that we have discussed in the previous slide. The next is log length. The next is the tolerance component of cap and body. The tolerance component of cap and body are given individually. The next is external diameter. The tolerance component are mainly, they mainly depend upon the external diameter, cut length, single wall thickness and finally the weight. Let us see one capsule. Let us see the smallest capsule. Capsule size. For a heavy powder density mixture, the minimum typical fill weight is 130. For capsule 5, for a heavy powder, you can fill up to 130 mg. And if it is a war, if it is a liquid medicament, you can fill up to 0.13 ml. And the log length of that particular capsule in mm is 11.10. And the external diameter of the cap for a smallest capsule size 5 is 4.91. And the external diameter for the body is 4.68. The cut length for cap is 6.20 and for body it is 9.32. And single wall thickness 
for the cap it is 0.089 and for the body it is 0.086 and finally the weight of capsule for an average of 100 capsules of capsule size is 28 mg the final weight after the filling of the medicament here you can see the pictorial representation of different sizes the only variation is you also have a elongated component for a particular size if you see this is the largest size capsule for human consumption which is size triple zero and in double zero you have two pictures this is the regular double zero size and this is the double zero elongated size and this is the regular uh, this is the elongated single zero size and this is the regular single size zero or single zero size and this is the elongated size one and this is the regular size one and this is elongated size two and this is the regular size two and this is finally size three size four and size five now let us discuss about some factors that we need to consider while choosing a capsule size some of the important critical factors that will affect the capsule size are the total mixture density for combination supplements the preferred dosage per capsule desired appearance of the supplement and the intended purpose of the supplement these are some of the points that must be taken into consideration before selecting a particular capsule size and finally the amount of the weight of filling material depends upon the density the weight of the filling material depends upon the densities and for calculating the filling weight you need to calculate filling density and this density varies greatly among different substances for example liquids powders and granules will have different densities because of their differing properties and the basic formula that we all know for calculating the density is mass by volume and the units of density is grams per millimeter based upon this you will calculate the filling density in order to determine the total fill weight for a particular mixture thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on pharmaceutical sciences and related subjects